I started this career only as a qualification of being mother, and now I have promoted to being an activist. Hello. While trying to acquire citizenship for my elder daughter, that's the first time that we understood how difficult it is. Scaring us off. So how is it possible that my country denies citizenship to my children? When you go to acquire citizenship to different uh, offices, government offices, you would be questioned what exactly happened with your spouse or biological father. Constitution was not clear enough to cover citizenship through mothers yet. So because this drafting of constitution was happening during that period of time, I got an opportunity to be a part of that movement. Not to have citizenship in Nepal means you cannot do many things. Even to get a SIM card for your phone, you need citizenship for the land, for the bank, for further education, to have passport. I'm not a lawyer myself. The least I can do to help people with good intention is that I can at least carry these so that we can reduce the number to go to the court cases because it takes years and years to come to the verdict. <laughs> she never gave up. We were not so sure that we were able to get the citizenship, but she was very determined. She always made us green about the future. When a person doesn't have citizenship, the person feels they're cornered in a place where they have no way out. I wish and I hope more children have to go through all that ordeal ever again. <laughs>